Good day students, welcome to mathgodserve.com. In this clip we're going to be going over question number 4 of our 2017 AP Calculus Multiple Choice Guide. We're going to be focusing on the utilization of the trapezoid rule. We're going to be using the trapezoid rule to estimate a definite integral. So, how do we use the trapezoid rule or trapezoidal approximation to estimate what a definite integral is? Well, let's take a look at this question. We have a table of values here, the time and the velocity um, for the given times. And the question reads, the table above gives the velocity V of t in feet per second of a snowball at selected times t in seconds. Using a trapezoidal sum with three sub-intervals indicated by the table, what is the approximate distance in feet the snowball travels from time t equals 1 to t equals 4? Alright, so to get started, let's go ahead and write down the formula that will be guiding our problem-solving process for this example. So in this particular example, what are we asked to find? We are asked to approximate the distance from t equals 1 to t equals 4. So the distance formula on an interval a to b is given by the integral from a to b of the absolute value of v of t dt. Remember distance is a scalar quantity, it doesn't keep account of sign. All right, so this right here is the distance formula. Another formula that we're going to use is the trapezoid approximation formula. Now let's say you have to compute um, the approximate value of an integral from a to b of let's say some function f of x dx and you want to approximate it with three trapezoids, okay? So we are using the trap app or trapezoidal approximation here with three trapezoids. Why are we using three? Well that's what's indicated in the question, three sub-intervals. Alright, so the formula is going to be one-half base one plus base two times height one, that's for the first trapezoid, and then the next adjoining trapezoid will be one-half b2 plus b3 times height 2 and then with the last the last trapezoid is going to be 1 half b3 plus b4 times height 3. Okay so we can uh, determine this let's take a look at the the table and apply this particular formula to the table. Alright so there goes the table um, copied again so we need to know what the heights of the trapezoids are and what the, the bases are. Now for a trapezoid approximation the heights are normally determined by the change in the independent variable so let's indicate what that uh, those are. So from t1 to t2 this right here is going to be height 1 which is as you can see 0 0.5 we're going to use fractions here since we uh, this is a non-calculator question. From 1.5 to 3 that's a growth of that's h2 and that is uh, 1.5 in improper fraction 3 over 2 and then from 3 to 4 that's h3 and as you can see it's 1. <clears throat> Alright so these are the heights now the bases are the, the dependent um, values so this is going to be b1, b2, these two form trapezoid 1 with base h1 and then b2 and b3 form trapezoid 2 with base h2 and then b3 and b4 form trapezoid 3 with base h3. Alright, so we're ready to apply the formula to this particular scenario that we're dealing with right here. So we're looking for the distance from uh, 1 to 4. Alright, the distance from 1 to 4 is the integral from 1 to 4 of the absolute value of v of t dt. We do not have the velocity function, but we have a table that we're going to use to estimate what the value is using a uh, trapezoidal approximation. Okay? Alright, so um, this integral will be estimated using trapezoid approximation, trap app, with three 
trapezoids. Now let's go ahead and write down what that is. So if we want to do it, we're going to have, um, so that's going to be for trapezoid one, one half of base one. Now one thing to note is since we're looking for distance here, we're going to have to take the absolute value of the bases. Okay, because these represent the velocity. So absolute value of 30 plus absolute value of 70 times the height, which is one half. Now, if you notice in this particular problem, all the bases are positive. So the absolute value component is not going to make any difference. I'm just putting it there just to show you that this has to be considered when you're computing the distance. All right. The next trapezoid, one half base one base 2, sorry, base 2 plus base 3 times the height, h2, which is 3 over 2, plus the third trapezoid, t3, which is 1 half of base 3 plus base 4 times the height, which is 1. Now let's go ahead and calculate it. We're going to have one half of uh, 30 plus 70 is 100. Uh, we can multiply one half and one half. So this one half in front can just simply become a quarter. So one fourth times 100 plus three halves times one half is three fourths. Three fourths times 70 plus 50 is 120 plus half of 90. Okay, a quarter of 100 is 25 plus um, 4 goes into 120, 30 times times 3, that's 90, plus half of 90 here for tr trapezoid 3 is 45. If you add everything together, you will end up with 160. Okay, and the unit is going to be in feet. Answer to this question is option letter B. 160 feet. Thank you so much for taking the time to watch this presentation. We would like to know what you think. If you found the contents of this tutorial helpful in your preparation for the upcoming AP exam, do give us a thumbs up. Your positive feedback is very valuable to us. If you have any special requests, comments, or questions, just put it in the comment section below and we'll be more than glad to respond. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. We constantly update our site with helpful math tutorials such as this, so subscribe to our channel for updates on our latest uploads. To gain access to the entire tests, you can look in the description below or visit our website on um, notgoserve.com slash interactive practice tests and you will gain access to the um, actual test where you can really practice for the upcoming exam. Thanks again for watching and have a wonderful day. Goodbye.